Hello viewers, this is Cosmic Nick here today with another how-to video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get 5 shining stars on your save file in New Super Mario Bros. 2. Alright, these are the 5 things you're going to have to do to get 5 shining stars on your save file. The first thing you'll have to do is complete Bowser's Castle in World 6. Uh, if you can get to World 6 faster by using cannons and other worlds, go for it. Because it'll be faster than just playing through the levels normally. Um, the second thing you'll have to do is collect all the star coins from worlds 1 through 6, world mushroom, and world flower. Some of the levels to get these star coins will have to be unlocked by spending star coins, so just be aware of that. The third thing you'll have to do is collect all moon coins from world star, and world star is unlocked by beating Bowser's castle in world 6. The fourth thing you'll have to do is open up all of the paths in the game. This is done by playing through all of the levels normally, finding all 15 secret exits to some of these levels, and by spending star coins to unlock any other paths in the game. The last thing you'll have to do is max out your life count to 1,110 lives, and this will appear as three crowns on your save file. Alright, and after doing all of these things, you will have five stars on the save file in your game. Now, if you want these five stars to shine in your game, you're going to have to do all of these things without having used the gold super leaf power up. And that's the power up that appears if you have died too many times when attempting a certain level. But even if you have used the super leaf or gold super leaf when doing any of these levels, just go back and find those levels and do them without the um, gold super leaf and the stars will shine again if you've completed all of them. Alright, so for the rest of this video, I'm just going to be showing gameplay of how I got all of these stars. So if you don't want to watch the rest of this, you don't have to. Because all you need is these steps right here, but if you want like actual proof, then you know, continue watching the rest of the video to see how I did all of this. Alright, this first clip will show you how to get the first star on your save file. And like I said, it's just by playing through Bowser's Castle without using the Golden Super Leaf. So this is just going to be footage of me doing that right now. All the footage in this video is going to be fast forwarded through, so it's just that you have proof of me getting all the stars in the save file so you don't have to really take my word for it if you don't want to but so yeah after um you beat the bowser's castle a message should appear saying that you have unlocked star world and i'm going to show you after the level is done if you go back to the save file it will now have the first star all right and the message appears and if you go back to the save file, you can see that you now have one shining star. Alright, now I'm going to be showing you how to make sure that all of the stars on your files um, are shining. So you can see in the second file right here, the star is not shining. And to get all the stars to have a little shimmer or shine on it, you have to beat all the levels without using the golden super leaf power up. And as you can see on the level before I went into it right now, the level was red instead of blue, which means I have used the golden super leaf power up before. So you want all of your levels to be blue, which means you uh, play through them without using the golden super leaf. And I'm going to do it right now. And this is also to show that you can still use the golden super leaf power up. It'll cause your stars not to shine anymore, but you can restore them to shining and make them not shining as many times as you want. So it doesn't really matter if you um, lose the shine on the stars, you can always get it back. So as you can see, the level is blue now, and if you go back to the main menu, which I will be doing in a few seconds, you will be able to see that the file now has a shining star. All right, and if you go to the save file, you can see that the second save file star um, is now shining, even though it wasn't before. So, like I said, even if you've used the Golden Super Leaf power-up and the star doesn't shine anymore, you can always restore the shine by playing through the level without the power-up, so there's nothing to worry about. You can always restore the shine in the stars. Alright, and now I'm going to show you how to get the second star on your save file. And to do that, you're going to have to play through all the levels and collect all of the star coins. Uh, to do that, you're going to have to spend some of the star coins to unlock certain paths and get the star coins from those levels, so just keep that in mind. Um, so after you unlock all the levels, play through them, collect all the star coins like I'm going to do. I'm going to fast forward through this level real quick. This is the last level in the game that I have for collecting star coins, so I'm just going to do that.
And there's the last star coin. So after you've collected the last star coin from the last level that you've needed it from, uh, you'll get a message that'll say, <clears throat> as so, you've collected every star coin in the game. And confetti will fall down, it's real festive and stuff. And if you go back to the main menu and look at your file, you will now have a second star on your save file. All right, and go back to the file. You can see it there are now two stars on the save file. All right, now I'm going to be showing you how to get the third star on your save file. There's only two right now, as you can see. Um, and to get the third star on your save file, you're going to have to collect all of the moon coins from Star World. And Star World is unlocked after completing Bowser's Castle in World 6. And I think you're going to have to spend 90 star coins to unlock this path with all the levels on it. Uh, I'm going to fast forward to this last level right now and collect the last three moon coins. And after that, a message should appear saying you've collected all the moon coins in the game. Same as the message from collecting all the star coins. And then you should have a third star on your save file. All right, now the level's over. Collected all the moon coins in the game, and the message will appear saying you've collected every moon coin in the game. Confetti will fall around. It'll be exactly the same as when you collected all the star coins in the game. So if you go back to the main menu, as I am right now, you will see that there will be a third star on your save file, and they will all be shining. All right, and just for proof, there you go. Now you have three stars on your save file. All right, now I'm going to be showing you how to get the fourth star on your save file. There's only three right now, as you can see. And to get the fourth star on your save file, uh, you're going to have to play through all the levels in the game normally. So Worlds 1 through 6, World Mushroom, World Flower, and World Star. You have to play through all of those levels. And after that, you're going to have to play through and find all 15 secret exits that are throughout the game. So there's 15 different levels with 15 secret exits. I believe the level I'm playing through right now is one of them. And find all of those. And then after that, you're going to have to spend all of the star coins that you have found to unlock the rest of the paths in the game, even if there's no extra levels in those paths and there's just mushroom houses. Uh, you just have to spend all the coins anyways. So as you can see, I just beat that level through um, with the secret exit. That was the last secret level in the game. I am now unlocking all of the paths in the game by spending the rest of my star coins, and yes, you have to spend all of them, so you have to collect all of them, first of all. And after you collect, or after you unlock all of the paths, then you should get a little message saying you've cleared all of the courses in the game, like, as you, like you've seen. And if you go back to the main menu, you will see that you now have four stars in your save file. All right, and now I'm going to be showing you how to get the fifth and final save file star. And to get that, um, you're going to have to max out your lives at 1,110. And this is probably going to take you the longest out of all of these, but it is also the easiest. So I'm going to show you a little trick that you can do to get lives really quickly if you can pull it off. So this is, um, I believe, world star level one. And I looked this up on YouTube. And if you can do this little trick with one of these Koopas, like I'm going to show you, and if you jump on it just right, you can trigger um, an infinite jump that will eventually lead you to max lives. So I'm just going to fast forward through this because this takes a little bit of time. And I'll move the screen down in a little bit so that you can see the lives capping out. And the lives won't read 1,110 on your file. They'll look like three crowns, as I'm about to show you, or as you just saw. <laughs> anyway, so fast forward through the rest of the level. Beat the course. Yeah, and there you go. So now that you see, there's three crowns up in the top right corner, and Luigi's hat is now removed. And if you play as Mario, his hat will be removed too. It's just something that happens when you maxed out all your lives. Anyway, so if you go back to your main menu and look at the save file there will now be all five stars and they will all be shining there you go five stars shining on your save file
All right, and for this next bit, I'm going to show you that even if you lose one of your lives and you are no longer at um, max lives anymore, um, you will still have all of the stars on your save file. So I'm just going to quickly intentionally die in this course right here. And then see it right now. I'm only at um, crown crown nine lives or 1,109 lives. And if I go back to the main menu and I look at the save file, you will be able to see that um, all the stars are still there. So just for the record, I don't think any of the stars in the game can disappear. So you don't have to worry about losing um, any of the stars at any time. All right, in this last bit, I'm going to show you another method to cap out your lives in this game. I wouldn't recommend this method, however, because it takes an extremely long amount of time. But if you wanted to, you can play through all of the levels in the game. Uh, the ones that you have to unlock, too, by the way. And then this will make all the mushroom houses in the game permanent. So you can play through this life collecting mushroom house an infinite number of times and collect as many lives as you want. However, this takes a long amount of time because you're never guaranteed a certain number of lives. As you can see, it's kind of like a little game that you have to play. And unless you're really good at it, it's going to take you a long time. And even if you are good at it, you can only get 10 lives at a time. So it'll take an extremely long amount of time to... Um, cap out your lives. So this is just another method. It's a little easier, but it takes a really long amount of time So I would definitely recommend doing the last method where you just trigger um, That infinite lives trick and just rack up the lives. It'll take a few minutes only so if you can get it to work um, It'll be a lot easier All right, and that is all for today if you guys like this video hit the like button or subscribe to my channel if you want to see more stuff like this um, Thank you for watching Stay safe, stay healthy, and I will see you later, guys.